Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fever blister cold sore oil. The reason I'm going to show you this is I don't know if anybody else is like me, but come summertime when I start spending a lot of time out in the sun, which I've been doing lately, where we've been working on the chicken coop and the dog run and spending time with the, with the dogs on training and building the chicken run and such, I always get a fever blister. See it? So I'm going to show you how to make a homemade uh, recipe for the uh, fever blister. Because I don't go running off to the store now. If you don't have the products and you want to do that, by all means, feel free to. I have the products, so I am going to make it. So I'm just going to use a, a bottle. This is a one ounce bottle. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to pour one ounce of organic coconut oil. I'm just going to use my... Um, I don't know if you can see right there. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of room for my drops. My um, oil was already trying to, was cool in here earlier. And um, I'm going to sit that right there for right now till it drains. Uh, I'll just put it back over here. It was trying to uh, get solid because it's cool in here. So I've got my coconut oil in here. I am going to use 12 drops of thyme. If you don't have thyme and you have lemon balm, you can use lemon balm. Next thing I'm going to use <clears throat> is six drops of tea tree oil. The next thing I'm going to use is um, helichrysanthemum. I know I just pronounced that all wrong. I'll show you the name. Chris helichrysanthemum. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. Anyway, I'm gonna put six drops of this. So this started coming out um, yesterday. I can feel it. Um, my body doesn't um, like sweat like most people do when they're out in the sun. And the only, I'm gonna shake this up. The only place that I ever sweat is my top lip. So when I'm working, I have a habit of doing this and rubbing my lip. And I guarantee every time I end up doing that for the whole day being in the sun, I'm going to get that fever blister, cold sore, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just shaking this up really, really good. Now, you want to apply this three times a day, okay? And the dose is you're going to use like four drops on it. 
but this is what I do. Since I have fingernails, this is not fingernail friendly because you get it all in your fingernails. If you want, if you have those round deals and you want to make it in it where you can just stick your finger in it, put it on, that's fine too. That's strictly up to you. I don't do that because I get more of my nails than anything else. So I don't use, um, I don't use those. But what I, how I do use it is I get me a Q-tip never double dip okay you can either dip it in it or you can just put the drops right on the tip of it now once you touch your fever blister your cosar with it and if you feel like you need to add a little bit more turn it over and use the other end don't use the same one again twice that's how you can spread them okay so i am going to i don't know if you can see this let me move this over here so I'm just going to add for like four drops, one, two, three, the first drop completely missed it. And then I'm just going to apply it just like that. I'm just going to roll it and dab it. I'm not going to push hard, just like that. Try not to get it in your mouth because it wouldn't taste very good at all, but just dab it right on it just like that and like i say if you feel like you need to do it a second time turn it over and use the other end okay don't do it again and um sometimes i'll just break it since i gotta do it three times a day instead of like using the throwing the whole thing away i'll just end up breaking it and then the next time i'll use the end that's the clean end this is the dirty end that's going to get thrown in the trash. And it's that simple. And I'll do that three times a day until it's healed up. Okay, that's it. So hopefully this helps somebody out there. And uh, that's it, I guess. Thank you for watching.